Hi, welcome to day one of November 2022. Um, I'm Katie Kajabowski. I am a writer, filmmaker, and theater maker, and also the guide of the labyrinth. To make sure you're reminded of all the labyrinth videos, please like this video and hit subscribe so you don't miss anything. And also, all of those actions help more writers who are often inside of a solitary act um, find community with us. So all of your interactions will help all of us find each other. Okay, so it is day one and our featured poet is Ruth Ellen Coker, who often writes poetry collections that are constructed in a, a concept or that build a world of ideas together to deepen the experience as you go through the collection, um, whether it's through the lens of a character or the building of an environment or um, connecting to seemingly disparate ideas in a form that helps to like helps connect us um, to those two ideas together. For today's poem, I chose a Geigen, which is an invented form um, by Ruth Ellen Coker from her book, The Goodbye Lyric, or Goodbye Lyric, The Geigens and Lovely Gun. There are 55 Geigens in here, um, and they all have similar shape, line length, um, and most importantly, the form, much of it is based on um, two repeated lines and a series of couplets and tercets. So before we get into um, describing the elements, the components of the Geigen as an invented form, a poetic form, I thought I would read one of her Geigens called Loom. So I'll, I'll post a, a, a link to an image of the poem so you can read it on your own. But for now, I will read it out loud. Loom. I imagine my death as anyone's death. Satellite image of a torn car, a hospital sheet. Creased carefully around my feet. It's lovely tucked corners, a bleached resistance to the wet echo my lungs fit into, the wanting room. In this moment, you will hate me the way truth crouches to drink from the clear surface of my face, free from any ripple disturbance and beneath algae's density increases exponentially. I cannot help but become you. And so imagine my death as yours. In that moment, you will hate the grass. You will despise the trout silvering an image stream, reject the stoic agency of apricots, Realize a beautiful flaw, each pit a perfect loss. The ground rises, the fruit yellow, fleshed, remembering, earthworm, compost, fall. So the Geigen poetic form is 16 lines long and it has five couplets and two tercets in this order. Couplet, tercet, couplet, 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 tercet, couplet, with line one repeating as line 11 and line six repeating as line 12. And you'll see that line one doesn't directly repeat into line 11. There's a bit of a repurposing or a reuse depending on the needs of that part of the poem. And line six repeats as line 12, but not necessarily. There's a little bit of a twist on it or a repurposing. Um, it can be a switching of the I to you, or it could be like a complete reversal of tone. Um, the other interesting part is that there's usually a volta in the last couplet. Volta as in there's a turn or um, a, a new way of seeing what was established in the first 14 lines. Okay, I found online that Ruth Ellen Coker was inspired by the Geigen, um, which was one of Godzilla's major nemeses. There's a, a movie called Godzilla versus Geigen. And the Geigen has an integrated jetpack, 
which allows him to fly, a circular saw in his abdomen, and hooked blades in place of hands. Though her um, Ruth Ellen Coker's poetry is lovely, the language itself is, is musical, beautiful. There's oftentimes moments of decay or destruction or a release of, of life. Um, and especially in Loom, there's, I imagine my death is anyone's death. And then, and so I imagine my death is yours, is the, the um, line one to line 11 repurposing. So it's like there's, there is an element of violence or um, opposition. The Gaigan itself was inspired by something that is the nemesis of what we consider the person that we're rooting for, Godzilla, or maybe not rooting for it, depending on how much he's destroyed parts of your lives. So here is prompt one of three. The first prompt is to consider how form can add a deeper meaning to what your poem is trying to convey. I'd like you to take a previously written piece of prose, poetry, whatever it is. It could be a note, it could be a letter. And I'd like you to choose a form to rewrite it inside of. Another way to phrase this prompt is to challenge yourself to see how a previously written poem feels when it's wearing a different garment. Prompt number two is not so simple, but I'll put it very simply. I would like you to invent a form of your own. Obviously there are 300 ways to do this, but I'm challenging you to invent your own, own form. And then you should share the form with us so that we can practice it ourselves. Prompt number three is to look more into Ruth Ellen Coker's invented form of the Gigan and write one yourself. Pay special attention to how the first line is repurposed as the 11th line and the sixth line repurposed as the 12th line. And how does repurposing the language, whether it's using only parts of it or maybe switching the syntax of the same words, um, how does the re this repurposing allow a new way of seeing in the same poem? Sub prompt is to consider how space or sejura is read on the page by the reader. What does sejura allow the reader for longer lines? If you'd like to share in the community aspect of Poem Vember, look in the description below to see how to grant to get access to our Discord group, um, which is where we we share and we give each other emojis and we gas each other up and we build a community of like-minded people. Because writers are my favorite. Everyone's my favorite, but writers are my favorite, and I would like to get to know you. Um, we also have like a little sub channel for people who are engaging in NaNoWriMo this year. Um, so if you're doing that challenge, you can post your word counts and maybe a little snippet of what you wrote that day and uh, share in the energy. Also below in the description is a um, preview of the poets I'll be using as inspiration for our prompts for the next few days. And um, I'll be posting all of our videos, our prop videos at 6 a.m. Eastern every morning this month. Um, our poet of inspiration for tomorrow is June Jordan. May she rest in peace. Um, I, don't... I had a very hard time finding just one poem for, but I think I'll say that every single day <laughs> um, because every poet is incredible. And I have like 300 post-it notes in all of their books. Okay, so if you wanna read, also if you wanna read more work um, by Ruth Allen Coker, I put a few links um, to her books and poems online and some of her videos in the description. And you'll find links to some of my films and um, also writing, if you're curious, in the description. Um, so thank you for watching through and stay tuned every day this month for Pomvember. Um,
where a daily writing challenge is really just my ploy to meet more writers and become your friend. Okay, I hope you have a very good day and I am looking forward to reading what you wrote.